like I said, I have a lost of power for the <laughs> for those of you that don't know. So I will probably for at least I might re- have to redo this one, but I still think this is going to be an extremely valuable session for everyone. So I hope you guys enjoy. So today we are going to be talking all about projections, which are pretty neat. They are, when we are thinking about projections within your business, and hold on, it is waiting to load, but all that projections are, are they are these wonderful um, ways that we can almost see into the future within your business. And what I'll do for you guys is if this is really, really bad, I'll just re-record the teaching here and that'll at least be something. So what you want to do is you want to know where the future. So last week we talked all about the five-year plan for the future of your business. We were talking about creating these amazing predictions for where your business is going, Mm -hmm. where we're going to, all these crazy, amazing businesses that we're going to create that are going to have this amazing lasting outcome. And today we're going to be talking about how you can actually see that financially within this year and play around with some numbers. This is when we actually make the numbers really fun. So this says, know what you own and why you own it. And this is a way that you guys can kind of just think about like, where you're seeing the rest of 2023 going, where do you want this business to go and how you can make those numbers work for you. Also in past sessions, we talked about that formula for how your business is working. So depending on what numbers you want to create here, hopefully you know more about what your business formula is and you'll know how to create that in the future. So we are going to go through a spreadsheet and what I was thinking about in the shower before the power went out was actually including screenshots of my actual spreadsheet that I'm about to show you. I just didn't have an opportunity with the power going out to block out the names just yet. So I'm going to actually include links to each of these six tabs on the spreadsheet. I'm going to include a link for all six of these in in the slides in just a moment when we have our break time. So you're going to be able to go back and forth and use these slides as a reference. Cause I realized that like just explaining this might still be confusing. So the first portion portion of your spreadsheet is your receivables. If anyone doesn't know what receivables are, that is the amount of money that you're expected to receive within the next year. So your receivables, we want to make sure that you're tracking them Oh, can you hear me okay? It's so tricky. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. No worries. It's good to I'm see I'm sorry. You. I'm sick and I t- totally didn't realize that I wasn't on mute and I'm like coughing up a lot over here. Oh, no. Well, I was sick literally all of last week and I had um, food poisoning. Like, I, I've never been so sick. So quite an adventure. I sympathize and we're sending extra healing love to you. Um, Christina, I think it is, (laughs) but within your receivables, what you want to do, and I'm talking a little slower than usual, just to make sure that it's coming through. So hopefully this is helpful, but when we're talking about your receivables, we want to know everything about every single one of your clients. We want to know what, how many sessions they've done completed and it says sessions finished, but that's how many sessions they've done with you, sessions they have upcoming, the session end date, how much money they paid, how much money they are going to be paying you, which are the receivables, the timing of the monthly payments, whether it's at the beginning, middle, and end of the month, and their number of remaining payments. So within your spreadsheet, yours will look like this. When you go into the group It is under week 14. Can you guys still see my screen? Okay. Yes. Great. Thank you. Sorry. It's tricky when I can't see your faces to see if I'm like, oh, it says it's scheduled for tomorrow. So we're going to edit that and post it 
today. So when you go down to financial projections right here, you're going to click into here and it's going to have the projections system spreadsheet. And when you click on there, it is going to take you to here. Now, my projections are a little different looking, but this is the first tab and it says current receivable. So it says the client, the number of sessions, how many upcoming, their end date, what they paid, their receivables, their timing, and remaining payments. So what that looks like for me on my end, what I did is I've color-coded it. Now, I, just like you guys, I'm sure that your businesses have gone through multiple iterations of creating your business, of course. So, oh, oh no. <laughs> I was supposed to cross that out and that did not work. There we go. Um, and actually I'll just make that black so no one can see names, but these are all of my clients' names. And this is how many sessions I've done with them. This is how many they have upcoming. This is their end date, how much they've paid so far, how much are expected in receivables and how much is remaining. And what I do is I change this at the end of every month. So we'll be talking about your monthly checklist, your monthly evaluations, and all of that fun stuff um, as we go. And we just got power back. Okay. Yay! Sorry. I'm going to move all the stuff back. They said it was going to be one o'clock. So this is great news. But just take a look at that. And I want you guys to see that I've color-coded things in different ways. So you can see that there's red. That was one of my clients that has been with me since the beginning. She's like an, uh, well, she's like an old OG and she, I grandfathered her in just like I'm grandfathering you guys in with the old pricing and just a different duration. So I gave her five months for three K. So this is how much, that's why I have her in red at the top and anyone who's paid in full, I put them at gray at the top because they are, um, they've already paid me. So there's no need for them to, um, be seen. Sorry. I'm like shifting everything around, but that's good. And then you can see the next one is orange. And that is people who were also grandfathered in. These are actually, these should probably be in red because they are the old OGs. These are people who have been with me since the 10 month time period. So they've been in here for a while. And those are people who have, um, who have those kind of payments all set up like that. So then at the, I have a gray line and for group, these are the people for group that paid in full. And then these are the people who did payment plans. So you can see how many sessions they've done. I didn't include that really for you guys because everyone had. 20 sessions. We actually had 22 sessions. That's why I said when we had like a bonus session and then end date, all of you guys are ending on the same time, but it's helpful to go and see what time and day people are ending. I did that through acuity. You can do it through whatever booking system you use, how much they paid, how much in receivables and how many remaining payments. So everyone except for two people have remaining payments. Actually, it might be everyone has paid by now. And then the timing just so I know when those payments are expected to be coming in. How is that feeling for everybody? Also, I'm just turning on my monitor, getting the light set. So I'm just gonna switch over to the big screen because it's easier, if that's okay with you guys. Um, and I'm gonna stop sharing and reshare. So, Everyone can feel free to put their videos back on if you wish. Why isn't this moving over? Interesting. Okay. Sorry, the monitor is not working, but looks like the webcam is. <laughs> okay. Five second break for technical difficulties. We're just gonna, we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be fine. 
I can't even see a mouse over here. That's interesting. Okay. Well, all right. This whole thing is like frozen. Let's just keep going with this little one. Okay. Just gonna move you on over here. <laughs> what a day, you guys. Technical difficulties happen to the best of us. Okay. How is that? Can you guys see me? Eventually, I'll get this monitor back up and running. But until then, we're going to go old school. So here we are. No, just kidding. No, we're not. Okay. So sorry. Okay, this is so strange, guys. It's like, it is not letting me go back and forth between screens very easily right now. And I just lost my ability to go back and forth. What is happening? Okay. We're just going to take a five second break and we're going to pause for technical difficulties. And I'm just going to like, we're going to be right back. Go ahead and get some water, go to the bathroom. And I'm going to call my tech person, AKA Rob, because I literally, I can't even get my mouse on this screen anymore to control anything. So we'll be back. What a fun way to start the day. I can't even mute. So, hey, Rob. From the monitor to the thing anymore. We've got our IT person coming in. Hot. I can't, the, the mouse is here. They are there. I can't move it. It won't come. Okay. Very frustrating. I don't think the internet's back up yet either. Oh. Uh, would that be why? Um, I don't think so. I don't think it would have anything to do with that. Okay. When all else fails, try turning it on and off again. Right? There you go. But it's not going over, so... Good, huh? Oh, you see it's reverse, so we're going to have to change the setting later. But if you just go to the right, it'll go to your screen now and instead oh. of the left. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay great. Annoying, great but usable. Necessary. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So, okay. Strange. Okay. I'm going to... <laughs> Okay, there you guys are. Thank you. Yeah. Give a Rob a hand. Thank you, babe. Appreciate you. <laughs> and now we're back. Whew. Y'all, I was about to take a shower and it was just like, we have no power. And I was afraid that I had messed something up because I was like, oh my God, did I like not pay the power bill or something? I did. Yay. We did, we did well. Okay. Now this should be working. Okay. So <laughs> just moving this on over. Thank you guys for your patience. Appreciate you. How is everyone else doing today? Any other power outages and fun stuff for anybody else? <laughs> okay. So I'm definitely going to re-record this for the other people's, but for you guys, now we are officially up and running. So here we are. So we're back at the projections and I'm going to include a screenshot of this. I'll do that right now so that you guys can see a, an example of what it's like to have this receivables. And if you don't, in this meantime, hopefully you've had a chance to, um, to pull up your numbers and your clients and things like that. That's what we're going to be doing today. So that is what this looks like. Different payments, different systems. Yours probably won't look like a rainbow because you actually might. Um, you probably only have like a couple of payment systems that you have so far. So that is what that looks like. 
The next thing that you'll have are expected payment, expected receivables. So within the expected receivables, this is what I like to take that whole big spreadsheet and I like to break it down monthly because it just makes me feel like, okay, I understand how much I'm bringing in every single month and it makes me feel a little bit safer. So for you, that will be the next tab over. It is under expected receivables and you'll have the name of every client and then you'll have the payments that they're going to be bringing in here. For me, it's over here and I'm going to blank out everybody's names for you guys. So this is every person that's paying me for the rest of the year, how much they're paying me and when they're going to be just the month that they're paying me. Cause I wanted to make sure that I was like, I know when all my payments are coming in and I'm just going to include like a little, um, just a small, um, screenshot of this one, but you guys can see each month I have, I'm getting paid all the way to August. I'm making at least a thousand dollars all the way until August, which is wonderful. That's all you really need. And then I have the totals at the bottom. And if you forget how to do the totals in a spreadsheet, I did that video a while ago about how to do that. But just to review, you click equals sum parentheses. And this is all very Googleable stuff. That's why I'm not going to spend our time on that. You hit shift, you select the whole tab, or you could do the, um, or you could actually type in, this is B row, column B row two. So that's why it says B2 semicolon B24, because that's where I selected it and parentheses. And it's like a mini calculator. So fun fact, that's why I like Excel so much. It's just like, it does all the work for you, which makes it a little bit easier. The next thing is you wanna have a client consult tracker. Now mine looks a little bit messy, but I like to see how many people I'm doing consults with every single month. And I'm gonna show you guys how to track this every single month to make sure that you guys are actually, um, like you have a system. So every month you've got like a little, it, it won't even take like three hours, but it could take, it could take up to like four hours the first time you do it. And then it'll be a lot faster the more that you do it. I do my QuickBooks every month. I do the projections every month. And we're going to be talking about that next week, but you want to track all the consults you're having every month. So here, yours looks so much nicer than mine is. And I want to actually include this in my spreadsheets, but it has every month who you did a consult with. The, these are people's names. Then this is the total number of people. These are the clients that you have. And then the total number of clients. So this is be like every single client you have. And then the total number, the clients that are finished paying, just so you know, you're like, okay. Cause right now I'm working. Technically I have 16 people that I'm working with and I have seven that are paying me right now because they've already finished payments. So it's like, you just want to know that kind of stuff. Cause you're like, oh, why are my numbers not like $16,000 a month right now? And the reason is, is because people have already finished paying me. And the number, if you lose clients, like if you don't resign them or things like that, you want to know that. And then you want to know clients who are resigning. So mine is a little messier, <laughs> let's see. It's here. It doesn't look very pretty, but these are the people who I did consults with. And these are the people who I am like my totals and things like that. And I just included the breakdown for pricing here to, for my consults every month. So it's just like, I truly have no idea what just happened. That's fine. Um, <laughs> just like all the fun technical difficulties. Um, but this is like my, I like to have that client breakdown every single month. The next thing that you want to do is you want to have your current profit. This would be if you had no, if you were just to do the number of consults you have, if you were to have the number of clients you have, the same number of returning, the same number of people that you've lost, your total number of clients and your profit. Now, remember, we talked about profit a couple of weeks ago, but profit is just how much you've made 
minus anything that you had to do in refunds or things like that. And that's your profit. So this is what mine looks like. And I just did mine for 2022. So you could see it a little bit better here, but we have current profit, which was, well, this was my current profit, everything up until here. And oh, let's do this. This was as of 11, 11, back when I did this back in the day, but this was my, the current profit would be anything that is not purple. So I would have not, if this was in, um, 2020 in November of 2022, this is my expected profit. And over here, I liked to include like how much money I was going, I would have needed to hit hundred K, which was my goal for the year. So this is how many consults I did throughout the year. This is how many new clients I had. This is how many returning. This is how many people I had lost. So like I didn't resign in August. I didn't resign seven people. And then my total here. So you want to just be keeping track of that kind of stuff. And then you want to have each quarter. And then I like to include how much I would need to make my goal. Cause that's always fun for me. The net and for you, it'll look like this. So it'll just have the month, the number of new client consults, new clients, returning, lost, total, how much money you made. And this, this is the total number of people. And this is the total money. The expected profit, this is just where we save, had the current profit. So this is like everything that you've made so far. But this is where you include, okay, this is where, these were all my projected numbers. If my clients had stayed the way they would, then this is how much money I should have made just if, if I were to have all the receivables. So this is without the receivables, with receivables, without, with. So this is, I included, see, because I took out December, this is with December. And the reason why I do expected profit versus current profit is you never know. But I had people who were like, yes, I am so in, we are ready to roll. Things are great. And they were like, so I'm not paying anymore. And I was like, oh, cool. Totally fine. No big deal. Nothing has gone wrong. But if you're accounting for them, like, oh, they've already paid me 6K when they've really only paid you 1K, you want to have the real numbers, like literally what is in your bank account and what you expect to have in your bank account separate. So that's the only difference between those two, because I've seen a lot of people that include, like, they're like, oh yeah, like a couple of people actually in the 200K mastermind said that they had made 200K for the year and they hadn't because they were including their receivables. And they like walked across the stage to get an award. And they were like, actually, I only made a hundred and like, it was one of them was like 170. And so we had to have a conversation about that in the group and be like, okay, so there's a difference between money in the bank and money that you expect to have. It's beautiful to have high expectations and think that we want to be altruistic and believe that our clients are definitely going to pay us. But life happens. Sometimes people don't pay. Sometimes people leave. It's not a problem but you want to account for that in your numbers. The last little piece that we have here is the fun part. So this is where the numbers can be really fun. I was like, okay, if I went, this is back in November and I was like, okay, currently this is my expected profit, all these things. And I like to go with my expected profit when I'm doing my projections, just to see how fun it could be. But this is where we can dream big. And we're like, okay, reasonably. If I were to add two more clients in December, this is how much people would be paying me. And I include the taxable number. Before I used to do the like pre-tax number, you'll see with um, my receivables, like, and so this is like, oh, they should be paying me $600. 
but really they're paying me $582.30 with all the taxes and fees. So you want to do the taxes and fees number when you're doing the expected profit, projected profit, pretty much for everything. I probably should even have it for my receivables here, but it's just more fun to see. So this would be if I added two more clients and I would be able to add that and instead of making 119, I could make 121, which actually happened. So I ended up making like what it was like 120 when I finished it. So it was like, if I added two more clients in December, I could make 120 instead of 119. If I added two, three more clients, then I could make 122. If I added four more clients, this is what I could have made. And then I also, um, Amber, I know you're thinking about a group, but like in the future, it's like, okay, if I only had five people in the group, this is, I would make 9,000. If I had um, people paying in full, it's because this was again for five months previously. So this was if they, if, if you go over here, PP, it stands for payment plan. Then PIF is pay in full. And then payment plan, pay in full. I, they were really, really long. So like if I get 10 people in the group, this is what I could make if I have 10 people pay in full. So that is the last of the projections. And then so this one's a little bit longer. So that's why I think projections are so much fun. You can actually just predict so much about your business and see all sorts of fun things that you could create and like just really like why not like these are the possibilities that we could do with our businesses so again oh, this is for a product I know that was a lot I'm going to include slides with each of these things and I'm going to include what it looks like for you and what it looks like. This is expected profit. And this is for potential clients. So are there any questions about that? I know that was a lot of information. But I want to see how you guys are feeling about that. Where is it? Over here. Good. Okay, cool. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to go for it. We're going to take 20 minutes and this is definitely not enough time. This is going to have to be something that you do outside of our session. Apologies. Technical difficulties did not allow for you to have as much time as I wanted you guys to have, but that's okay. And then um, your weekly evaluation. The other thing is I, for you guys, I was doing my marketing calendar and the only thing that's different if you're launching, this is important for you guys, if you want to do a, um, if you want to do a launch for a group, the only thing that's different between a group launch and a, um, and a regular launch of your product is you just take everything, the, the cold, warm, hot, and you double it. So that's the only difference. And so you do six posts a week instead of, um, three. And then I also did one where I just post, um, every Monday about the group. So I just do one that is just specifically about the group. It says beta post. Cause that was like, that's the document I have it in, but it's just saying like, here's about six figure systems. You're going to learn how to teach, manage, plan, deliver, market, and manage. This is the things that you're going to learn, sign up here. That's going to be every Monday. So I wanted to show you guys that. And this is what I did for the last one. So this was, um, I included three of my current clients and then I included you guys. So Christina, Demetria, Shanna, and Deb, you guys were actually included in my old launch. And I wanted to see if the first six of you guys, whoever wants to do it, I wanted to give you time on this call to record your video for the group for your testimonial for it. If you would like to do one, there's no pressure, but it would be just awesome um, for other people to hear about your experience, especially because it's specifically I'm launching the group and I would love for them to hear about what your experience in the group has been. 
So I'm looking for the next, it's actually eight. So I'm looking for eight people to do testimonials. I've got a couple of one-on-one -on -one clients, but because you guys are my group people, I wanted to give you guys the first slot in the marketing and stuff like that. So if you want to do that as well, that's what I included in the stream. So saved announcements. It's saved for tomorrow. Well, it's today. We're just going to, we're not going to schedule it. We're just going to, anyways, I have the actual testimonial form here. And so if you want to like, look at that actual testimonial form, it's the same thing that I have for you guys. It just includes a, like the biggest reason to join the group, but all I, I don't need you to write it unless you really like to write it. All I need is the video. And again, I'll use talk to type for it. So that is it for today. Does anybody have any questions about that? All right. Awesome. Well, I love you guys. Let's take the next. Let's, I want to give you a full 30 minutes to get into this. Um, and we'll meet back at 11.05. And I'll put on some tunes. I'm also adding those slides now on the other computer.
Thank you for visiting the world of Give Me the Future. Hey, you guys, the reason why my, um, I, I've been only been able to do the first three things on the slideshow is I've been still connected to my personal hotspot. So I'm going to try and switch. But if you lose me for a second, I'm coming right back. Okay. Did I lose anybody? Are we still... Okay, looks like we're still good. Great. Thank you. 
Okay, now they're all updated. So if you want to go into the slides, that should be really helpful. And I'll share it with you guys in the chat. But it's not time you never quit in all your life. 
About 15 minutes left, like 14 minutes left.
Totally fine, Dad. All right, wrap it up, people. Also, just love us on. Let's wait till the beat drops. Get your biddies on, get ready to rally. Over ten K two thousand five hundred dollars. What is happening? Y'all, this is some good stuff. I'm gonna bring this bad boy on over so you guys can see my other screen. Um and I have a couple of just like quick things. I just posted in the group and um, just have the testimonials here. I wanna leave you guys testimonials and reviews. Amber, I'm doing yours right after the call while this loads. So I saw that for you, Deb, I did yours earlier, but all of you, I would love to give a review. So feel free to just send me an email like this. Be like, here is, what I wrote from your video. I've done a video for all of you, except for Demetria, Shanna, and um, Christina. And I'm meeting with you guys on Wednesday night, tomorrow night. So eight o'clock Eastern. And I'm going to get coached by you guys. I'm so excited. And then give you guys a review as well. Um, Just whatever you type up, whatever you type up for what I said, just send it to me. So it's really easy for me to just like copy and paste. And this is exactly how I'm doing it for my people as well. And then, um, a reminder, sign up for your one-on-one -on -one sessions. I just, what I was doing with the progress tracking is I texted everyone who hadn't signed up for a session just yet, made sure I gave you guys the sign up link again, as a reminder. And another thing that I'm doing, if you guys want a little bit more help with what it actually looks like to create those um, spreadsheets, 
I can go through and I'm reviewing February, not this week, but next week. And because what I do is, and I'll show you guys this next week, but I have my monthly checklist every week. And I just like, whenever I'm doing Monday hour one, I change things around a little bit, but I'm going to be doing that next week. So I'll go through and I'll show you guys exactly how I do it and how I check like people's names that I'll just like go through and, um, do that for you guys. And if you haven't seen it already, here is the Good tutorial month. about how I did QuickBooks. So I gave you guys all a QuickBooks protocol, which is here. And if you go into our classroom, it is with the bonuses QuickBooks tutorial. So here's the video and here's the protocol. So you can go through and see exactly how I did it. If you choose to purchase QuickBooks, again, it's a bonus if you guys want to. And then I show you exactly how I reconcile, how I confirm all my payments, how I check with my bank account to make sure that I've got each of them. The categories will be assigned to you by your accountant. So I'll do something like that for the payments, just like um, I did for QuickBooks. And last but not least, um, Sydney gave us this worksheet for our training. I don't know how helpful this will be, but this is just everything that she's covered. So if you need a reference point to see what she talked about and when, the only thing was like the email list sign up and the freebie giveaway that she didn't hit. So all of that is for you guys. And I just wanted to take a minute and like think about like the bigger why of why we are actually doing all of this. And it's to change people's lives. And I was thinking a lot about like the reason why we do this work. And I feel like we have all had experiences that have been deeply, deeply transformational and have just made so much change in our lives that we've actually had this like inkling inside of us that we want to start a business, which is not something that most people do in the world. Like most people do not start businesses and I should look it up and see how many people in the world actually start a business, what percentage of the world are entrepreneurs, but we are doing something that is completely rev revolutionary and is so transformational for so many people. Every single one of your businesses is just incredible. And I'm so, so proud of you guys, like seeing how hard you guys have been working in this program. And so I just wanted to like take a deep breath in and just like picturing all the people that you've helped, all the people that you will help and then like letting it go and like taking a deep breath out and just like grounding ourselves before we get started coaching in this amazing work that we're able to do together. So honored to work with you guys. Very, very proud. And I want to see if anyone who wants some coaching first to see how we can change some lives. once first coaching amber since you've got your video up would you like some coaching you know, but if anyone wants to go just interrupt me because i've gotten i feel like i've gotten a lot of coaching so if anyone wants to go but i can always use coaching Good. um so i'm having some pricing drama about my group okay tell me what and the drama is. i'm gonna say it again tell me what the drama is um, so I'm thinking of making it around $1,200 in total for the six months. Mm -hmm. And part of me feels like it's too low. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to make a lot of money from that unless I have a ton of people. And I feel like my audience is too small to have like more than 10 people. And then if I think about raising it, I know I have like, where it's coming from is I have this one client who I had at 250 a month and she was a college student and she couldn't afford anything over that. And so, and I know she wants to join the group. So if I think about doing a payment plan, that's like over 250 a month, I'm like, well, she wouldn't be in it. And I know she really wants to be in it. <laughs> so I'm going like, I like, I feel kind of good about, I feel like 50% okay about the price, but like, I want to get to a hundred. Yep. And what I like to do is again, the reasons why and why not. And it's going to, I feel like give you a lot of clarity. So 
why do you want to stick with 1200 for six months? Because that one client can afford it. Mm -hmm. So she says, um, Oh, remind me later. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, I feel like, because I used to have this old belief that like a college student would never afford over 250 a month. But then I had this one client who's now paying, who was paying 365 a month a few months ago. So she proved me wrong. Uh-huh. Cognitive dissonance. Yeah. <laughs> but there's still kind of like, I had this, like when I started my business too, I kind of thought about like me as a college student and I feel like I couldn't do anything over 250 a month. Mm -hmm. um, and I want it to be like a really good deal because it's my first group. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's a really good deal. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um because eventually I do want to raise it well now I'm going into like the my brain's going to the why not the why not is I'm not I feel like I'm not gonna make very much money okay um and I feel like if I like it's gonna take like my goal eventually is to make it three thousand for six months uh -huh. and I feel like if I want to get to that point in the next like year or two I'm gonna have to do like really big price jumps and then maybe people are gonna be like wow it was 1200 before and now it's 2000 that's a big jump uh-huh and they'll want don't want to do it okay so the price jumps will be too big and I will lose people Okay. So I think that the interesting thing I'm seeing from both of these things is that both of these are rooted in a little scarcity. So it's like the scarcity around, and it's the biggest thing that I heard you say is that the audience is too small. Okay. Yeah. So your audience, when you go from group to one-on-one, -on -one, your prices change, your group and your audience and your one-on-one -on -one the audience is always changing. The audience will always change. There's going to be people that can pay 250. A month. There are absolutely 10 people that can pay 250 a month. There are also absolutely people that can pay more than that for 10 people a month. You guys are literally proof of that. You're paying 500 a month, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when we're thinking about like there's, and what I want you to have the belief of is there's always enough people or what I want to do. So if that were true, what would be best for your business? And also you, the other thing I want to mention to you is that like, you were telling me that like this group is just kind of like, we're just doing it to see if we can do it, you know? So it's like amazing. So we want to have like, this is kind of like the bonus on top of an already awesome business. So mm -hmm. do you, I want you to be completely what, um, Stacey calls is, um, protecting the profit. And so it's making sure that like all of the profit that you're making this year is coming from one-on-one. -on -one. We're expecting nothing to come from the group. And if you can do that, then it's like, okay, what would be best for the business? What would be best for me? What would be best for the business? What would work? Well, so when I think about like, there's enough people, I, like my thought behind the, there's not going to be more than 10 people is I feel like I haven't gotten like that many consults in the past few months. So I'm thinking like, if well, if I can't even get people on consults, like why would they want to be joining the group? But but I'm I'm realizing too, like when we talked about like their different markets, like I'm doing it differently. Like I'm going to have, I've decided I'm going to like show the price. So they like know a little bit more. So maybe then they would be more inclined to ask more about it or I don't know, talk to me. So I guess it's going to be marketed differently. Uh -huh. Different and offering. Exactly. And I was thinking this morning for the next group and I was thinking about like two hours of coaching. I'm like, oh man, that's a lot of time. I wonder if people are actually will be there. Maybe it won't be enough and all these different things. And I was like, no, the way I'm going to sell it is I think that you're selling with thoughts that 
are not it's like the thoughts behind your selling. Like I realized that I was selling the group with thoughts that people don't really want two hours of coaching. Like, I'm not sure how, if people will come versus selling to the people who are craving two hours of coaching are desperately looking for that have been looking for everywhere. Mm -hmm. There are people who have been looking for, and what would be the alternative to this? I'd raise it. I don't know by how much, but. Okay. What would you want to raise? Like, how much is the six hundred dollars? Okay, so that would be how much a month? Like two hundred. <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh, well, like I think it's less than two fifty. It's it, like two hundred. <laughs> Get out okay. a calculator. I'm getting at the calculator. So 1600 divided by 12 or divide by dang. 1600 divided it's by 266 six. a month. 266. Okay. So and it, you don't think that she'll be able to come up with $16 more? <laughs> she could do that. <laughs> Probably do that. Okay. So like let's and I do you, how does that like that price feel for your business what you're going to be selling and I, I want you to get into the thoughts that like what do you want them to be thinking what do you want them to be feeling about this offer I'm getting a good deal I want them to be thinking okay why is it a good deal for them because my one-on-one -on -one coaching is 4,000 for six months. Uh -huh. so that's a huge price difference. Uh -huh. um, and I would define what- I, can try, I, I can't think of like any other reasons. Yes. Okay, so like I'm getting a good deal. Like, no, but we want to think of at least, so your homework is going to be think of 10 reasons- of what you want them to think, like 10 reasons why this would be an amazing thing for them. And I'm going to post this in the group and I want you to fill it out and send it to us because everyone else can benefit from these thoughts. And then mm -hmm. I want you to think about 10 ways you want them to feel. Mm -hmm. And then when you're able to do that and be like, this is the energy I get like my people. And I'm like, oh my God, it's like, I'm so excited. I can't wait for this. This is going to be amazing. This is everything I've been looking for. Where has this been? this is, everyone needs to know about this. Like, these are the thoughts that I have about my group that I give to my clients, you know? And then I want you to think about for you, what you need to be thinking and feeling. And I want you to go into like 10 things that you want, need to be thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm helping so many people. They, um, they're going to love this. I can't wait to deliver this. I can't wait to see the look on their faces when they realize how simple it can be. Like I literally, like yesterday I was talking with someone about making their marketing calendar and they're like, oh my God, it can actually be simple. And I'm like, yeah. And she's been in the business for six years and she was like, or no, 12 years. She's been in the, cause she was in a different kind of business beforehand, but she was like, I've never heard it explained like this, but it makes so much sense. And she's like that. I was like, literally this one tweak is going to change so much for you and your business. And it was like, just seeing that like light bulb moment of like, oh my God, this is amazing. And just like, for me, feeling like that grounded certainty, like, I want you to get in that place of like, of course they're coming. This is amazing. And almost like, and I want you to do this for the whole belief triad. Okay. So this is an example. How do you want them to feel when they're thinking I'm getting a good deal? Excited. Okay. Awesome. Okay. And then I want you to do like, and I actually did this for my business before I launched my offer. And if you notice, guess what it is? It's the belief triad. So you're just building belief after belief after belief to be like, this is perfect for them. It's amazing. This is awesome. And I like, I sold myself so much on my group that I like forgot to sell myself into one-on-one. -on -one. So don't forget to do that because your one-on-one is also equally amazing. But you want to get that whole belief triad and you want to 
to just feel like, oh my God, who wouldn't want this group? And even like if consults are no, that's why you're thinking your audience is too small, but I think you've been thinking too small for them. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Because if you've been thinking like they're not getting a good, I'm not sure if they're getting a good deal. I'm not sure where they are. I'm not sure if they can afford it. You gave us a whole bunch of thoughts that it's like, oh, that's why they haven't been coming for consults. Not because there aren't enough people in your audience. Mm -hmm. Also, you're going to be doing presentations to all of these sorority women. Like that's 10% of them, like 10%. (laughs) <laughs> it might be like I think it's gonna be like 50 to 60 people so say yeah like five percent of them five ten percent of them if there's a few people in there that could definitely need my help probably and after they meet you they're gonna be like oh cool and then they're gonna follow you on Instagram they're gonna build that no like and trust and they're gonna see testimonials and they're gonna be like oh shit this girl's got going on okay mm-hmm. how's that feel good I'll definitely work on like my thoughts I think I'm gonna raise my price because like that just feels like, like too low. Like I'm going to be putting in a lot of work for this. And I'm like, I can make a little bit more money from this, I think. And why Uh, is it good for them to pay that? They're going to be super fucking invested. They're going to be ready. They're going to be like the best people. It's like, it's good for them to pay more. Mm Mm-hmm. It's really good for them to pay more. It's think about learning the power of investing at that young age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, And I posted about this in like the, the feed too, but I'm like, I I had this like realization yesterday and I was like, it's just like inviting people to a party. Like, it's just so fun. (laughs) Like when you're planning a party, it's like exciting. Like explaining the details of the group. Like this is just the price to attend the fun party. This you need like party supplies and organizers. <laughs> Attend a fun party. I love that thought. And how does that feel? Good because, well, that's not oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, like, it, like it's easy, it's like, kind of. Uh huh. Easy. I was thinking like justified. Yeah. Or like um, grounded, like, oh yeah, of course. This is, it's like excited grounded. That's how it feels. It's grounded. <laughs> that sounds weird. But it's like, that's how you want to be feeling. And why does it make sense for your business to not, to be charging this for your group right now? Why does it make sense? Yeah. Why is it the best thing for your business as a whole to be charging this price? Future. Um. Well, because I need to make money, um, mm-hmm. my business, I, like I said, that was one of my reasons. Like, I feel like I don't have to make as big of a price jump as I increase it. Like I can still make the price jump. It will be a quicker process, I think, to get to the price I ultimately want to be in order to make this my full-time job. Yes. want this to be my full-time job. I, and if you sell it at that price, it's building my belief that I can sell at that price versus I, if I sell it at 1200, I'll believe I can sell it at 1200 versus if I sell it at 1600 and I do good, I'll believe I can sell it at that. And we'll take that. And also like, I, like, if you're thinking about the business, like a baby, it's like the baby needs to be like, like the, when you're talking about like the price to attend a fun party, it's like, we also need to have a good house for the party to be in. And it's like, this is stuff that like, I'm investing back in my business too. And you could be investing in your business when you're traveling, like you're investing in your experience as a coach, like to experience, like, it's like, it's like, I'm using the money from this to continue to build the business. Yes. And help more people. Yes. Beautiful. How's that feel? Really good. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm not like I'm looking at my notes and you're like you're feeling really good <laughs> really good um, it feels aligned like yes I'm doing the right thing I'm doing the right thing beautiful and I'm going to just put a little feelings uh list here and you can edit this um 
or at least, um, yeah, I'll just put this separate wheel of emotions. So here's a whole bunch of emotions. So feel free to use any of these words to robustly explain how you're feeling. And I love that. Amazing. Thank you, Amber. That was so good. Okay. Thank you. Edit time, Christina. You mentioned in the chat that you want to go next. What is yeah, going on? Okay. I'm sorry. What is going on, beautiful? I'm really excited. No, um, sorry that I might be cough coughing up alarm here. I'm oh, just fine. not feeling well. Um, okay, so I guess I have a lot of thoughts right now that like I didn't have any consults in I haven't had any consults yet this year. And I had three in December and you know, one client out of that. And not that I thought it was going to be easier, but I thought that the momentum was coming, you know, like from December. And now I'm just like, nothing's happening. Uh-huh. Nothing is happening. And I want you to think about like your, <clears throat> first off, how many consults did you have in all of 2022? Three <laughs> in December. Huge. So you like yeah. It's like your brain was like, we had all this growth. And I think that you might've hit an upper limit problem and been like, oh my God, like, this is amazing. And I think maybe it's something shifted in your thinking when you didn't see immediately, like more consults every single week, like right. something's gone wrong. So, like, and I want to hear what you, because mine was always something's gone wrong. So what, what is your thought? What thought shifted there? Okay, so I looked at the data. I don't know if I have a thought yet, but I'm gonna okay. Bring it up. Okay, so I looked at my data from January and December, and like I noticed like a big difference was in December. I threw out all of these posts that were like, "Work with me, sign up for my email list, do a consult, do you know like download my freebie, like all these things." And then in January, it, I had January content all done, but I didn't really have any like offers out. And so in February, I started changing that. <laughs> and um, so I'm starting to put it out more because I'm like, why did I do that? You know, <laughs> why, why we've got to figure out why you did that. That So, you know, the problem that was exactly what happened. It wasn't like people just stopped coming. It's like, you literally didn't make any offers to them. Yeah. Like I stopped being like, Hey, you should do this. You should totally do this. Yeah. You should do a consult with me because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, like, and I just didn't do that. So I, instead I was providing value in other ways, but not like, hey, here's some value. Now let's put it into work and action and come, yeah. you know, see how you can use it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I do. a gap. So the theory of the problem is that like, you didn't do any offers. No offers. That makes very much sense as to why. And, but here we got to figure out what the thought error, why didn't you include offers? And because whatever that thought error was, it's still, and, and now, so not only did you like have this, um, thought error then, but now I'm sure there's like another one. It's like, um, like nothing is happening. There's no momentum. There's something also, so it's like, we got two thought errors that are now under the surface. And that's the only reason why people aren't coming. I know it. Yeah. So I'm trying to think, I think I was so excited about, I think, honestly, I feel like it was a, an oversight to be honest. I was excited about getting January content all done at once and batching it and having it out. And I was so proud of myself. And then I started thinking immediately about February, cause that's a big month for me, um, with Valentine's day, um, that I just kind of didn't think about repurposing the December um, offers and including them in my posting. So I'm starting to do that now, but also as I'm creating March, uh, content, like I strategically am starting to figure out like what days I'm going to put the offers in. Okay. Which is now. awesome. And I really, really feel like it was an oversight to be honest. I just didn't, I was just so proud of myself, like focusing exactly. on the thing that I didn't look at the whole picture. Yeah. And I think that it was like, um, I think there might've been a thought like they, like this is all they need. 
like uh, like yeah like yeah like I thought like okay people can look at my stuff and see that they can come and have an offer like it's there I don't know I you know what I mean like yeah like you're right like it's it is all they need and And so I really put it out there and it was working and maybe I just kind of like slacked off a little bit I think it's like, I think that was like some sneaky success intolerance. Like, I think it was almost like your brain was like, oh, this works so well. It's like, maybe I can like it, it, but it, maybe it felt like a lot of work for the December. How did December's content feel when you were doing that? Did it feel like it was hard at all? Well, honestly, like December's content wasn't really content. It was all offers. Like all of my stuff was like, you know, sign up for a consult there was four different sign up for consults and it was the same shit. It was just a different post and the same copy. And then there was four offers to do a download and four offers to uh, get on my ma- email list, you know, and it's, <laughs> you it's thought that- different pictures, just the same copy. I think you would have thought that December's copy wasn't good. I think it was good. It was a repeat, but it was like, what are your thoughts about repeat? That's all I did instead of offering other types of value, maybe. Okay. And so I, again, so I think that your brain is like, it, it should be harder. Like I should offer a lot of different types of value. And I don't think it's a bad thing to offer lots of, offer lots of value. Your brain's like, I, I, I just, in the way that the reason why you said that is you said, it was all offers, not content. Offers are, right. that's why I was confused. I was like, yeah, offers are for sure content. Repurposing okay. content, the exact same okay. way. I guess I just separate it in like a different bucket. Which so. is a problem because that's the the different bucket that the reason why I'm harping on this is like, I think the different bucket is why you didn't sign people. Like, it's like why you didn't put it in there. So it's like, we need to see your brain to see that like offers are the most important content that people could have. Okay. Why? Because they're going to see the, they are going to see the value in coaching, like with those offers, you know? Uh Uh-huh. Well, like when I was saying I needed to add value, I mean, that is value. Yes. And I, it, that's what I mean. Like it also, what would be more valuable seeing an awesome pose that they can apply in like 30 seconds, like something that they can do that makes their life, like maybe like 10% better versus working with you for three months. Right. Like versus working with you now are your, what are your thoughts about the offer posts? What do you mean? What are your thoughts about? Like, it's like, are there any thoughts that you have? Like, oh, like you said it was repeating it. It's like, I I don't want you to have thoughts and I don't want to give you any like unhelpful thoughts, but like they're annoyed. They know what my offer is. I need to give them something different. Like, is there any? No, I think just, um, like I said, I just have the same exact copy and then work with me in different ways or whatever. Um, like the picture has like, yeah, you know, one might be related about weight, one might be related about like the four pillars, right? Um, yeah. but the copy is the same. So I think, what do I think about my offers? I'm trying to think. You see what I mean? It's a kind of matter. yeah. Like I just think I don't know. I just think I just throw it out there, and I guess I have that thought in my head is like okay, it's just another post. Like I'm just throwing it out there and like, nobody cares. I don't know. There we go. Nobody cares. Okay. There, there's a thought. I was like, there must be some sort of thought you're having about these offer posts because like, those are the posts that I'm like, I'm sure. And, and do I know how I know that my offer posts are the posts that like, the, I consider my offer posts, my testimonial posts. They are the most viewed. Like, so every time I'm like, when I'm talking about the, it's like 812 people viewed that one, 500, 500, well, minus that one, but like, they usually get more views than anything. Okay. 
isn't that funny? So it's like your brain was like, yeah, like they're the least valuable versus like my brain's like, these are the ones that people are, even though, guess what I do? Guess yeah. who copies and pastes the words? Yeah. For every single testimonial post. Okay. Yeah, it's true. And I bet they're the ones that work the most, you know? And again, yeah. we're, we're not going by views. Views are not making or breaking your right. coaching. The, your things but it's just fascinating so what if like they just need to hear all four pillars for four weeks for the month of March for them to be like okay I hear exactly what she's saying in four different ways these are the four things I need I'm in fantastic <laughs> yeah. I think that they're okay let's take a look at your your IG page, okay? Yeah. Curvy girl dating coach. Um, six hundred and twenty-eight people. Of those six hundred and twenty-eight people, maybe they're people in your target audience. Maybe they aren't, but maybe they're people who are looking for dating. Maybe there, maybe there are pieces of it that they are gleaning from this, and they're like, "Oh my god, this is so good!" And they're hanging on to your every word, and they're like looking at this, and they're like, "Yes, yes, 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 yes." You know, it's like they just need you to be in belief for them. So what are your beliefs? So it's like, we've got thoughts about your posts. I also wonder if you've got thoughts about the people in your audience. Like, I mean, I have 13% men in my audience. So that's just, you know, not my people, (laughs) but that's still like 500 people or whatever, you know, that are there. What are your thoughts about that? We're talking about people. 500 people are enough people to like to market to that they would want to have a consult and work with me. Okay. So this is something that I've been doing recently is every, because I, what I want you to do, I mean, I'm giving a line again, I'm going to wait to give. I'm an A-line coach. So. <laughs> I know me too. And I'm like, I'm, but I realized that it's the thoughts and the feel, because guess what you were thinking and feeling in yeah. December? Like, let's take a minute and like, let's think about like how you were thinking. So it's December. Yeah. In December, I was like, I'm not making any offers. So I guess I better like do that. And I remember you commented, like, this is the shift that I'm looking for. You know, mm-hmm. because I'm making offers because <laughs> like, mm-hmm. nobody's going to buy if I don't tell them to. Yep. And so it's like, and then what were your thoughts when people were coming? So it's like, this is the thoughts about like your business slash marketing slash offer. It's like, I better stop making some offers. People need to hear this to join. Yeah. Okay. Then what were your thoughts about you as a coach? When I was making offers, I was like, I think I was thinking, okay, now I'm marketing myself more. Like I'm becoming more clear on what I do and why I have this Facebook page or, you know, Instagram page. And you know, like I'm finally showing that I am a coach that works with people coach that works with people and I would say like I think there were thoughts like I'm a damn good coach oh yeah for sure like I mean I know I'm my first client like I had 10 years of of coaching that I had experience on getting through you know like being a single person Mm -hmm. also you need to talk about that yeah because I haven't seen that just yet but Okay, what are your thoughts about them? Like, as soon as, like, you got that first consult, you're like, oh, my God, they were here. Like, what were your thoughts about them? They need me. Like, I can totally help them. I can totally help them. And then I want you, like, like as soon as, like, that first person signed up, what were your thoughts? It's like, oh, they, they were here all along. Like, something like that. I guess it was like, oh shit, it's happening. <laughs> oh shit. 
I, I think that your brain kind of freaked out a little bit. And that, I think yeah, that for sure. also a little bit of the backing off a little bit, but it's yeah. like, I want you to think about like how your business felt, like how did your business like feel in December? It just, it felt really good. Like I felt like it was all like starting to take shape. Uh huh. It was all coming together. So it felt a lot more complete than it did before that. Um, it's all coming together and your business felt complete. Yeah. Yes. Saying it feels like something's missing right now. Yeah. Like now I'm like, fun. what the fuck <laughs> it is, you know, those thoughts, it actually does make a difference, you know? And it's like, I bet you felt like really powerful. Like, I, like as a coach, when you're thinking, yeah, about- I felt like competent and like confident and uh huh like yeah and then how did you feel about them uh, that they were like a, like a great fit and I I don't know like what do you mean what do I, what do I mean? It's like, like I love my client right now she's amazing uh my client. As there, okay. So when you think about her, like maybe it's like love, like just so much love for her, love for them. I think these are the feelings that you were having. Now, if you were to think about what has shifted since December, yeah. I think that you have started, and I know that there are actions and things like that in there too. But mm-hmm. think about how you're thinking now. The only difference is that it's February. How do you feel about your your business now? Where, what thoughts are you having about your business now? Like I'm so close. <laughs> I'm so close and now it's over. Yeah. Uh-huh. And now what are your words? Like, um, I've missed I'm so it. close. And okay, let's see. I don't know. I guess I'm just so close that I'm like frustrated, you know, like, cause it's like, so it's just right there. Uh-huh. It's right there, but it's not right now. Right. Not there. Okay. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts about, um, that about you? Like I've done something wrong. Something has those are my thoughts. Yeah, like I need to, like I'm I'm boring. Like I need to like mix it up. I need to mix it up. Like I feel like I'm putting out the same shit every week. You know? <laughs> like, it's so funny because it works and your brain's like, so we should change it. Yeah. Every week. What about them? What do I think about them? Yeah, like, are you like, where are they? They're not here. Yeah, I'm like, make the move. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, okay. So, something. Yeah. So how do you feel when you're thinking, how does it feel when you think I'm boring, I need to mix it out. I'm putting out the same shit every week. How are you feeling? I don't, I feel just. Um, we'll go back to the wheel. Duck stuck yeah okay how how are you feeling like stuck and stagnant how do you feel like how are they feeling how are you feeling about them I'm feeling about them like is it like um like let down is it like kind of like um like they're just waiting like I'm trying to think of like a actual like skeptical like anticipating maybe like they're just like okay well what are you gonna do like I don't know like or like maybe um, it's like it made it's frustrated again yeah or you could even be angry and that's okay what it's like you could even be angry with them it's like make the move like god yeah I guess I'm just frustrated because I'm like I'm like putting all this stuff out here and I know that I can help you and like, why are you here? <laughs> uh-huh. But you know, that's so desperate sounding and I don't want to sound desperate. We are but... never 
judging hey, you. I think it's more eager than desperate. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is for sure. But if you are seeing like, this is not as aligned as this is, you know, to like who you are, who your business is. And we caught it in halfway through the second month of the year. Right. We have so much time in 2023. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. like, right. so time. Okay. And I think a lot of it too, I'm sure there's something in there is that like, I have like, I guess high expectations, like a lot, like a good vision of like what 2023 is going to be like. And it's not, you know, I, I guess I'm assuming that right now it's not happening. So it's all going to go to shit, even though I still have 10 months. To- so um, this is like when we're thinking about like expectations and things like that expectations are the enemy of all good things in business. Like if you look back at my post where I talked about, like, it's like I expected based on what I had experienced in past jobs, which makes a lot of sense for things to be very, um, for things to just like flow. And for me to just have the exact same number of consults, the exact same number of clients, the exact same number of money. But look, it was like zero clients zero clients, one, one, zero again. It was like all over the place, like consults coming in, consults not coming in. Like, and I made 120 K right. Complete inconsistency. And when you expect for things to like, it's like when you had those expectations for there to be three consults a month, and this is the danger of projections that I don't want anyone to get into. Is it like, if you're expecting three consults a month, one to convert, what happens is you kind of like leave out room for the magic of just like it, it take it, it, it this these thoughts are beautiful and ma- like it's like and those feelings are just like so magnetic like people are drawn to that like they're like oh my god Christina is perfect like she's the exact person but I I know that even if you've never said any a single word that is you could have used the exact same content, exact same, literally the verbatim post, but from a different thought and feeling and people are going to feel it. I don't know how to explain that necessarily, but I think it's like, do you know what it feels like when like Stacy has reused the exact same post for every 200 K launch yeah. for the past like three years, but I know when she's feeling it, when she's not. And okay. she literally went from 200 people to like, I think 70 for this last round. Oh, wow. It's getting better, but it's like, so just like, so you can see on a small scale on a large scale. Yeah. And I'm sticking with her till the, I love her. I think that she's amazing. And now I think that she's like back on it, but I think that she realized what you and I are about to realize is that actions don't make the a business. Right. And your thoughts can still be here and you can still make a ton of money. Cause I'm sure there were like thoughts about this and feelings like this, even in December and you still made it. Yeah. So it's never supposed to be like perfect, but we want to like, we want to always be be in that. You don't want to always, it's impossible. We can't always be in this. (laughs) Like, trust me, I have tried and it kept me in an action for like all of February. Cause I realized that that was the sick, the secret. And I was like, oh, I just need to think and feel like this all the fucking time. And then I was like, no, it's impossible. It's impossible. We just want to think and feel like that a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So February and March, we've got expectations for how we want our business to go. We're just going to put business here. Like your business is existing in here. And I want you to think about like, because I don't think that you had expectations in December. No. No. (laughs) <laughs> I totally did not think I was going to get clients or consults. And I know it was like a big challenge and I was like, damn it, I better get it. But like, I really didn't believe that I was going to. I know. It, it's, you know, when like, okay. You know, when you're dating, good analogy for you, when you're not looking for someone, they come. Yeah. That's where you need to be, which is the worst you need it's the worst thing to hear when you're like dating and you're like, but there must be something I can do surely. 
What do you yeah. tell your clients about that when they're in that? Um, I don't know. I just, yeah. I mean, I just tell them like, to, I feel like when they're in that, that they're more in a, in a, which is a scarcity mindset and like, they're just putting themselves into frustration, you know? And like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So what are what what did you, what would you tell them to get them out of this? Like just take a break, like take a breath and just keep it going. It's just it's gonna happen. And yeah. Okay. No. We do you know why you're able to realize this? Because you've had 10 years of experience and you're such a damn good coach. Your brain, yeah. oh man, I, here's the thing. A girl was getting coached and she coaches people on Monday hour one and she was having trouble with her schedule. Yeah. I think that the problems that we experience, like we're like at a, like for you for dating, you're like at a level like 10 for your dating experience and you're helping people at a level like one or two. Yeah. And it's, do you know exactly how to get them to like a level 10? But in business, it's the same level. It's just a different scale. So it's like, you're at like a level A, it's the same lessons, but it's, do so you already know how to get there? You already know. Does that make sense? I, I yeah. feel like it's a good explanation, but it's like, it's almost like you'd get to, you already know how to get there for a level 10 for dating. I think you're going to experience those exact same problems in a different, in the, ex, like the almost exact same problems that you help people with are the exact same problems you'll be facing in your business. Right. Yeah. That's true. It's because you know how to solve them. Yeah. So, okay. So it's, it's all, it's going to work out. Yeah. Take a breath. Okay. And this sounds like trust. Yeah. Like trust yourself. Like, you know, like it's just, just, it's going to happen. You just got to like slow down. Okay. What was it just going to slow down? Um, It's going to work. Just slow down. Now, hearing those thoughts yourself, you might be feeling frustrated right, right now, right? But yeah. you know that it works. Right. Okay. So for your business, how can you feel safe in this slowing down, knowing that it worked for dating, it works for like all these other aspects of your life. It's probably going to work for your business too. Right. And let's give it a try. Let's just try like, chilling for a little bit like just for the month of February and March and if it doesn't work out then we can go back into this like scarcity and hustling yeah so. <laughs> right like I don't want to feel that way like I want it to feel easy like I just feel like for my business like in the next month is just to like be just intentional with what I have and just just do it like it doesn't have to be in this scarce or desperate like mode it's just put out what I'm confident about let's just put out what I'm confident about and remember when we talked about the um empowering cycle I want you to add yeah. this to your empowering cycle because there are going to be times when you don't get consults no matter what level you're at right. you know and so it's like for your business we're just going to put out what I'm confident about Instead of feeling like I was so close, it's right there, but it's not there. What mm -hmm. do you want to think instead? There are people watching people. and listening. And you know that because you can see that people are liking your posts. Right. And you can see it, like somebody is watching this. Right. Look at that. 177, 91. I used to have a lot, but now like Facebook is, or Instagram is not great. With it, real you yeah. hear your thoughts about it? It's like, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, there are people watching and listening. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, only one person, like you can't just like have your reel open and get more views. So 177 individual phones have looked at that last post. Yeah, right. 
before reels like we would be hype if there were like three people that liked our posts or like yeah. four people on instagram live like thank god we have reels like even if it's working less than it was before i think we had this again expectation that it was going to be right. like fully viral okay so how do you want to feel about your business so your business can feel safe so you can open back up into that trust and enjoyment of it again also if you have to go i love you and we're just going to finish this up sorry okay <laughs> no, no, no i do you have time do you have like another like 10 yeah okay good okay, okay. I just, so, so mm -hmm. what are you saying like how do i feel about my, what do i need to feel about my business i think that your business doesn't feel safe right now right you know it's like i think that we get we get that frustration when it doesn't feel safe it doesn't feel like you can trust it it's yeah. like the same thing with dating it's like and that's why people delete the apps and they're like i'm just going to get off of it i'm done right you know so how can you create that safety like back in yourself again i mean i just need to trust myself i just need to like I said, like be a little bit more like intentional and just put out, like I have ideas, I have things. I just need to put it out there and just see what happens, I guess. Think about it. Think I about feel like I'm the worst person to get coached ever. No, you are the best. I love coaching you. <laughs> oh my God. I love coaching everybody, you know, but it's like, but I went, it's like, I just like, think about dating. Like that's the thing about it. I just need to put myself out there. Yeah. And like, worst thing that happens is they say no. Okay. Worst thing that happens. That I'm just putting myself out there. <laughs> like, yeah. And I know it can feel like what once brought you joy. It's almost like um, a supernova. It's like, oh, this thing is so beautiful, bright. And now it's exploded out as a black hole. And now it's like, oh my God, now it's a pit of despair and I'm getting sucked in. It's like, no, no, no. It's literally just a business. Just a post on social media. You also like, you have a full-time job. It's not like this is like, yeah. it's like, I'm financially, what I do is like, this is literally what I did for like all of last launch and I'm doing it again. It's like, I am safe. Like I have enough money coming in with one-on-ones. I know that more people need this. We're going to build this. It's okay. Like, I literally like have to like calm myself the fuck down. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely do that too. Like, I'm just like, even though like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make this much money this year or whatever. Like, I'm just like, okay, well, if I don't like, who cares? We're still improving. We're still working on things. We're still trying things. Like, you know, it, it's always going to be a process that's going to evolve and that's what's going to be fun about it <laughs> you know? a process that will evolve and that's what's fun about it yeah okay and like the worst thing that that's what you think your brain is the worst thing but the worst thing is I want you to think about like the real worst thing is like I want you to think about like looking back on your life and never going for it and just like stopping. The worst thing is really regret. Yeah. Cause you, why would you have gone through 10 years of coaching to become this like insane master dating coach for no reason? Like, I think there's a reason that you were, did all that. And a reason why you were so damn compelling in your reels and shit. Like you were made for this. Like I genuinely think that you were made for this business. I mean, I believe that. Like I really believe that. And so it's like, I, it's like, I want you to be like, I was made for this business. I really like, and it's like, um, I think that like, okay. I, I asked Rob's permission to share this and I'm going to share it again. Um, and I'll tell him that I shared it, but he was, we were talking about like um, purpose this weekend. And so he wrote, man has always been infatuated with the search for purpose, a reason to live. But the beauty of destiny is that it is already written. 
So it's like, it's already written. You're supposed to be this master dating coach. I know it. And he said that you really miss the love for experience when you try to action your way, this is my word, and create it. Because as much as we want control of our lives, the greatest experiences come from being out of control. Maybe our purpose is the release of control and the grasp of experience. And as he said, not reading every experience is supposed to be positive, but meaning every experience is endured equally. And so he's yeah, like, true. just, <laughs> we get real poetic on the weekends, but it's like, a, when you're thinking about like, like this destiny of life, it's like, what if it's all just like, we just, it's all coming. We just get to sit back and just like, enjoy the ride and do the best we can and like, have fun with it. Like, that's what I want to like, live my business by and right. that's for you too. So like, what do you want to think about your business? If it's like a part of your destiny, a part of like your purpose in this world. I want, I want it to be like impactful and purposeful business. You know, I mean, I I really believe that I could change people's lives. Like, like plus size women don't have, like, they just feel really shitty about themselves and they don't believe that like that they're enough I guess and they're like begging for that you know like equality I guess uh, you know or treatment and so like I believe that I can help women think that like how does that feel awesome I know I just like got like whoo <laughs> yeah like that's it's horrible that our society like has been plagued by a lot of I think toxic masculinity and stereotypes and things that are just so like the patriarchy, like, and yeah. in women on women, I mean, women are a lot of times like unkind to women too. And it's like, right. I want them to feel awesome. And every single time I want, I, they come to my page, whether they work with me or not, I want them to feel as awesome as they know. I right. know, you know, what about you? Like, how do you want to show up? How do you want to feel every time that you post knowing like that, like just one word, one of those 177 people that have watched this, their life is better because you're in it. I know it. How does that so How do I want to feel? Yeah. I think feelings are like, I need to work on my feelings more. <laughs> like, um, I want to feel impactful. I don't know. I want to feel... And you know the beauty of it? Impactful doesn't come from the number of clients that you have. It doesn't come from the number of people that are in your business. It comes from your thoughts. What can you think that makes you feel impactful? I know exactly how to help you. Or I know how exactly how to help people. Okay. Yes. Instead of use people. And I have it. I want to say like this is making a difference yeah um what makes you feel awesome as what thought can you create every time that you do a post regardless of whether or not there's no consults coming in how do you want to think to create that awesome feeling when you're doing your posting and things like that so they feel that awesomeness How do they want, to, or how do I want to think to make them feel awesome? To make them feel awesome, or what do you want them to think to feel awesome when they come to your page? I want them to think like that, like I see them, I hear them, I feel them. You know, like 
that there's somebody out there that's that's just like them that can that they like that I understand them. Yeah, seen it's like seen, heard, and understood. You know, and it's like yeah. that's okay. And how does that feel when you like when you think that? Like connected is a word that comes. Yeah, like I think. Yeah, like I feel like. I think connected is good. Um. Yeah, like I just I feel like I'm helpful. Is it love for them? Is it love for them? Absolutely. So it's like interesting because this these are the feelings that you had in December, you know. And yeah. then last but not least, when you're thinking about your business like being your life's purpose. Like, I really believe I can change people's lives. What are some other thoughts you want to have about like your business? No, even though no consults are coming up, it's like, um, thinking about how you want to treat you when you weren't getting dates. What do I want to think about my business? Mm -hmm. Because I, I know, know. Like, when I was, it's like any time that like, it's almost like the same rejection that I felt when I was like with dating. It's like sometimes we can reject ourselves. You know what I mean? So it's like you're almost treating yourself like it's like, I don't know if you got to a point when you were single, when you were treating yourself like the guys that were rejecting you. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, like I think that's what's happening with your business. It's almost like you're rejecting your business because you're feeling rejected without the consult. Right. So what do you want to think about your business? Like, hey, I fucking love you. We're in this. This is our purpose. Yeah, like I am not stopping. Like I'm gonna figure this out no matter what. <laughs> yes. How does that feel? It feels really good. Like empowered? Yeah. Totally different, you know? Yeah. So this is how we want to go about it. And even notice that like no actions are have changed, but I just know that your energy has shifted a lot. You know? Yeah, for sure. So it's like that's what and then we can think about like, okay, so if the solution is coming back to the A line, is that like you you had um no offers in your content. Now we're course correcting. So we're changing the A-line. So it's like, we're putting offers in content. I thinking about what you're, when you're thinking about like having those offers in your content, that's how I want you to go about having them. Okay. Okay. And you're going to enjoy your business a hell of a lot more. And that's going to bring a lot of people. And what you can do is I, I put name here is looking at like writing Tammy mm -hmm. on your post. And what I've been doing for my post is I was like, like for my last email, I was like, Hey, Katie. And I've got like multiple Katie's that I coach, but I was like thinking of one specific yeah. and Hey, Katie, life is 50, 50. And sometimes a 50, 50 can happen all at once. And so I like wrote that to her as like directly to her. And when you write it to one person, your words change a little bit. So I want you to like, literally like write to Tammy. I want you to write to Karsta. I want you to write to or Jeannie. Yeah. It's like, and Debbie and Monica and Lynn and Demi and like those people. It's like, I want you yeah. to write to them be like, wow, this is for you. I'm doing this for you. Whether or not you decide to work with me or not, like, I'm so glad that you get to hear this. And that's going to bring in people like insane amounts of people. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I feel so much better. Yeah. Cause I just felt like stuck. Stuck for sure. Yeah. And that's okay. We all get there. And that's why you're in this group. So yeah. that like you're going to get stuck. It's going to happen again. But you've got us always. And we're never going to ha stop having your back. Thank you for staying over for me. Literally anytime. And I love you guys so much. And I shall see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.
I'll see you on tomorrow, tomorrow night. <laughs> All right. Bye, beautiful.